guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be testing out a bunch of brand new makeup and I'm super excited about all of these products. But I don't wanna to waste too much time talking in the intro because this one is probably gonna be a long one. So I'm just gonna speed right through this. So let's just get right into this video. I'm gonna be starting off with all of my face products today. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to prime my skin, I'm using this new Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. So this one is in collab with Nicole Concilio. Hope I'm saying her name right. She's so sweet, she's a YouTuber and a beauty blogger. And I'm pretty sure this is the same formula as the first Photo Finish Primer Water, but this one is just scented like coconut and the bottle is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Yum, I love coconut. But basically this is just a primer water and it's supposed to prime your face for makeup, set it, and refresh your makeup. I can't get over the smell. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Okay, now moving into my foundation. So I literally dug through every single drawer of mine. I could not find a new foundation that I haven't tried out yet, except for this one. I don't even know if this is really considered a foundation because it's a CC cream. It's pretty old. It's been on the market for a while now, so it's not like anything new, but this is the only thing that I have here that isn't a new product. Product. I also have the shade medium by the way, which might be a tad bit dark on me So I just took one full pump and I'm gonna start out with this much Let it in with my morphe sponge. Oh I'm gonna need more than that. Oh, it smells like oranges So far I'm loving the finish of this it looks super natural and still kind of luminous I would definitely need to go in with more. I can still see my redness on my cheeks and my chin area. So I'm gonna go in with another pump, maybe even more. Yeah, I'm loving this finish it has. It just looks really healthy on my skin. I'm kind of breaking out right now, so I have all these weird bumps all over my cheeks. I usually have pimples on my chin, but I never get them on my cheeks. So I have all these little bumps and they are driving me insane. Okay, so that's with two pumps on my face. I still can see a little bit of redness and my acne down here. I'm just gonna fix it with concealer because I don't really wanna put any more on, but I love the way it looks on my skin right now. And by the way, for those of you who don't know or you're just new here, I do have very oily skin. That's why I was kind of late to trying this foundation out because I know a lot of people with dry skin like that foundation. So I'm super excited to see if this is actually gonna hold up on my skin and not make me super oily. Okay, moving on, let's do concealer. So I'm using the new KKW Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade five. Oh yeah, that's super yellow. So I'm just gonna put underneath my eyes, center of my forehead, right down my nose and then my chin. So I just like to put concealer in the center of my face to brighten everything up. And that applicator on it was super nice too. It was really, really soft and it just glided right on my skin. Glided, is that the right word? It's blending out super easily too. It actually looked like it was gonna be way lighter on, but now that I'm blending out, it doesn't look too crazy. I definitely wouldn't say it's a full coverage concealer though, but it does look really nice. It looks super pretty underneath the eyes. I also have her baking powder that I wanna use, but I'm not gonna use that directly after this just because it is a baking powder and not a setting powder. So I'm just gonna use something else to set this down first and then bake with that. Okay, so I think the concealer looks super pretty. I still don't think it's like a full coverage concealer, but I don't really care. I just like using concealers for brightening up my face and it definitely did that. So, so far, so good. It's not creasing under my eyes yet either, which is nice. Now for setting powder, I'm using this new Becca, I believe this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love this packaging. I think it's super pretty. Oh, there's like a net in here. Can you guys see that? It's like a bouncy net. Interesting. Okay, so you could just dip your brush or your beauty blender into this, but I'm just gonna dump it into the cap. That came out really fast. I'm just gonna take my sponge and pick up about that much, and then I'm gonna go directly in underneath my eyes to set them. That looks so soft. Oh my gosh, this actually looks so smooth on my skin. I love it. Usually with setting powders, actually always, I set my entire face with them with my sponge like this instead of just doing my under eyes. I like to set my entire face like this just because I feel like it keeps my makeup on longer and just locks it in place better than using a brush. So I'm just gonna press this in. Ugh, I got it in my mouth. Press this in all over my face to set everything down. And so far, everything is looking really nice together. Everything looks super soft. 
Okay, so now that everything is set down, I can definitely tell that nothing I used was full coverage because I can see quite a bit of redness up here on my cheeks and I can still see a lot of my acne. So I don't really mind when things aren't full coverage. I do love medium coverage foundations, but I usually like to use full coverage concealers. If you guys struggle with acne scarring or just a lot of redness and discoloration in your skin, those products might not be your favorite, but I still think it looks nice. My face looks very soft and lightweight. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, which I love. So moving on, now I'm gonna bake with the KKW Beauty baking powder. And and this is usually how I bake anyways. I set my face first and then I go in and bake because if I bake with a ton of powder right away, then it just looks really cakey. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this and dump it into the lid. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my beauty blender, dip it into the powder, and then I'm gonna press this on underneath my eyes where I wanna bake. I'm also gonna bake a little bit in my T-zone where I get oily. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit on here for like five, 10 minutes. While I do that, let's move on to the eyes. So I have two eyeshadow palettes that I have to use here and we have the Urban Decay Back Talk palette, which I'm super excited about. Also the BH Cosmetics Festival palette, which are you kidding me? Look at that. So I'm gonna start off with the Back Talk palette and this one is really cool because in here you have the eyeshadows on one side and then the other side you have blushes. By the way, I already have my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. I used my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot. And the first shade I'm gonna go in with is called Back Talk right here. This one stood out to me the most in this palette because it's a really pretty, kind of like a muted, dusty rose shade and it's gorgeous. The brush I'm using is an Anastasia A12 brush, by the way. So I'm just gonna kind of buff this all over in my crease area and blow it out a little bit. It is kind of grabbing right here, if you can see that. It's still grabbing a little bit there. I'm just gonna switch brushes. That might be the problem. Okay, I picked up an Anastasia A25 brush and I'm just gonna do the same thing and try and get that line out of there. Yeah, besides it grabbing in this little area right there, I think this color is super pretty. I love this pink purpley tone. Yeah, it's definitely giving me a little bit of an issue. If you guys can see right in my crease area on both eyes, it's just getting like a line in the middle. It's just taking me a little bit longer to blend out. So now I'm actually just gonna take that same brush and take a little bit of the shade Three Sheets right here, tap off the extra, and then run that over the very top of that to kind of just make it look a little bit more diffused and blended. If you ever have an issue with your eyeshadow not blending, especially in the upper area, just take a lighter colored eyeshadow and blend right over that, and that should help it look a little bit softer. I'm gonna take this WTF shade right here, just a little bit on this Vasanti eyeshadow four brush. I'm just gonna deepen up the crease a little bit, or the outer corner, I mean. So far, this one is blending a lot easier than the first shade I used. Go back to my blending brush and then buff that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm just looking at the shimmer shades in here and I was gonna use one of these two on my lids cause I don't usually look good in shades like that. And I'm swatching them and they're not like super pigmented how I like them. They're more of a sheer finish. So I swatched the first one right here. So that's them two right there. They're really pretty shades, but they're more of just a sheen. I like my lid shades to be blinding and super metallic. So I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Festival palette. This aqua shade right here is really calling my name. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So I'm either gonna take that shade or the shade Solstice. Looks like that. Oh, that's actually a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. This is the shade Wicked right here. That shade's really pretty too. That one is the shade Spirit. Oh, there's a shade named Euphoria in here. Euphoria is my middle name. That's how I got the name for my lash line, Euphoria by Jazzy. Cute. I decided I'm gonna use the blue shade called Ultimate. So I'm taking my MAC 242 brush. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. But I'm just gonna pack this. Oh my. This pigment is insane. It's a good thing I have baking powder on because I'm getting a ton of fallout with this blue shade too, by the way. So I actually wanna deepen up the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna use this really dark shade right here. This is called Hipster. 
Look at that blend, how easy that just blended together. Yeah, I'm getting a ton of fallout. Not so much with the brown shade, there is a little bit, but the blue shade is definitely like falling all over my face right now. Look at this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blue shade. I'm actually gonna spray my brush down because usually that will help a lot with fallout if you spray your brush first. <sighs> Look at how much prettier that is. Look at how much different it looks with setting spray without setting spray. I thought this was pretty, but now that I'm seeing this, I'm just, I'm in awe. Okay, so the baking powder's been on my face for a while now, so I'm just gonna dust this off. Okay, so the baking powder did make my under eyes look a little bit drier than they were before I used it. That's kind of what baking does though, and it makes the makeup last longer. I don't think it looks terrible, but they're definitely a little bit more dry than they were before. This is how much I love The Office. Everyone sends me little clips all the time. It's hilarious. Anyways, back to what we were doing. I'm gonna work on my little my lower lash line quick. Um, I'm just gonna take this brown shade again. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna quickly stamp this in on my lower lash line. And this is a Morphe M432 brush. I'm gonna actually use this shade, Hippie, right here. Wow, what is going on? This shade. Just because I think the orange will look pretty with the blue. And this is a Morphe M506. You know what? While we're here, I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight too. I'm gonna use Spirit and a Morphe E36 brush. Okay, let's move on to the rest of my face now. So I'm just going to, oh, I don't have a new contour. I guess I'm just gonna skip contour today and go straight to bronzer. So I'm using the new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. This is what the shade looks like. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. And it also comes with this little brush, which look at this brush compared to the brush that I usually use. This looks like more of a contouring brush, so I won't be using that. I'm gonna use a new version of my brush. This is the Morphe M527. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, tap off the extra so I don't go on too much, and then I'm putting this all around the outside of my face. It smells super good too. It kind of reminds me of that Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells very buttery, which I love. I do think the color is really, really pretty. It just gives a nice glow to the face. So I think for my blush, I am either gonna use one of these two from the new Too Faced Natural Face Palette or the Back Tuck Palette. Using my Morphe E4 brush and picking up just a tad of Low Key from the Back Tuck Palette. Shade is super pretty, but it's not super pigmented. I feel like I'm actually kind of having to pick up a lot. We're gonna move to the Too Faced palette now. I'm gonna use this shade Pink Sand right here, just cause this one looks a little bit too pinky. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try this darker one, Pink Sand. Ooh, yeah, that's a little dark. And that's super pigmented. Yeah, I definitely used way way too much right there. Okay, so I blended most of it out so it's not so harsh anymore, but I still did go in with a little bit too much. I don't love the shade. It's pretty, but it's not my favorite. And then the other blush that I used just wasn't really pigmented. I'm actually gonna take my Beauty Blender and then just kind of run over that to take some of that color away. Okay, much better. Now I'm gonna move on to highlight. I have two highlighters I wanted to use. I wanted to try one of these in here because these are really cool duochrome highlighters. This one is pink with a gold duochrome reflect to it. And then this one is the exact opposite. It's kind of a champagne color with a little bit of a pink reflect. So cool. I love how they did exact opposites for these. And these ones do swatch super pigmented, especially that top one. And then I also have this shade right here, or this highlighter by Smashbot. Sma Smashbox. What is going on? This is by Smashbot. Why do I keep saying that? Smashbox and Vlada. Look at this packaging, how pretty that is. And then here is what the highlighter looks like. This one looks like it's going to be gorgeous again it has a little bit of that duochrome effect to it okay so that one definitely is not as blinding as these ones but see how it has a little bit of that rose gold pinky reflect to it it almost looks just like this one actually but not as blinding so i think i'm going to use this on one cheek so i'm using an anastasia a23 brush and i'm going to start off with this one It's very pretty, but also pretty subtle. Yeah, this is really pretty, but 
it's definitely buildable. So if you're someone that doesn't like a super blinding highlight right off the bat, you would definitely like this. It does seem to be enhancing my texture a little bit though. I can definitely see every little bump and ridge. I just have a lot of texture on my cheeks. I don't know why, I always have, and it just never goes away. So I always struggle with highlighters, enhancing all that texture. There's only a few that don't. So I went over this three times, and that's about as blinding as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna use the shade Satin Sheets. It's the one that looks gold and then has a pink reflect to it. Ooh, that looks pretty yellow, actually. This one is enhancing my texture quite a bit, too. I actually think I like this one more, even though it's pretty subtle and they both definitely enhance my texture, which sucks. But usually I will go in with a cream or yeah, a cream highlighter underneath and that helps a lot with texture. So since I actually like this color better, I'm just gonna pack on more of the first highlighter and just go right over top of that just to tone down the yellowness. I am just breaking out so much lately and I don't know what to do about all these bumps. It just drives me insane. Okay, so that is what those two mixed together look like. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this on my nose and my cupid's bow. All right, now I just have to finish off the eye. So I have this new Sigma liquid pen eyeliner. I just got this in the mail yesterday and this is actually a felt tip liner. I usually don't like felt tip liners, but this is the only new eyeliner that I have to try. The other two that are out there, I'm waiting. Sorry, my mom called, but so far this is super black and I do really like it. It's not super dry like other felt tip pens that I've tried in the past are. Uh-oh. I actually really like this. It's very black. It still is looking shiny, so hopefully it will dry down to a matte black because I don't like eyeliners that are shiny. So let's hope that this dries down to matte black. For my lower lash line, I also have this Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. Oops. And then for mascara, I'm using this, the Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara. Oh, this is very, there's a lot of mascara on this wand, wow. It's like super gooey almost. <laughs> that sounds disgusting, but I don't know how else to explain it. Okay, well you really can't see since I have pretty big wings on right now, but it did make my lashes really dark and really thick. Not really that much longer, but they definitely look a lot fuller. Okay, so I just added some big lashes. I have the style Wifey on it from my lash line Euphoria by Jazzy. Oh, by the way, to the eyeliner, you can't really tell, but it still does have a little tiny bit of a shine to it, but it didn't dry down super matte. I was hoping that it would, but yeah, it still does have a little bit of a shine to it. I have these new lipsticks. These are by the brand Carity. So this is Kiera, and this one is Fade Out. I probably will use Fade Out just because this one looks very peachy and I don't have a lip liner. Very, very liquidy and not super pigmented. I can still see a little bit through the color to my actual lip shade. Okay, so this is what the shade at Fade Out looks like. It's super pretty. I can still definitely see through it though. Like I can see a little bit of my actual lip color. It doesn't look super opaque, but the shade is really pretty. Doesn't really match my eyes, but that's okay. <laughs> and now I'm actually gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Chill Soap such a long name. Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. Even though this is a primer water, it does say on the back that it can be used for setting your makeup and refreshing it. So I'm just gonna use it as my setting spray today. Okay, so here is the finished look. I'm gonna do a little rundown of all the products I used today and give you my kind of final thoughts on them. So for the first thing, the primer water, love the way it smells. I already do like the actual primer water, but I haven't used it in forever, probably over a year now. So I kind of forgot how it worked, but I do like the way that it made my skin feel. It made it feel kind of tacky, which is nice for prepping your skin for makeup. So I did enjoy this foundation. So far, I'm really liking it. I think it looks really natural on the face. It's not the kind of coverage that I will usually go for, but I think that just the way that it looked on my skin would make up for that. So even if it isn't full coverage, I just still like the way that it looked. So, so far I'm loving this. I will let you guys know though, if later on in the day, it does start to get really oily and separate on me. But for now, I think it looks really good. Concealer, I really liked this. Even though the shade was a little bit too yellow on me, I still think it brightened on my face. It's not super full coverage, so it's not my favorite concealer, but it's not creasing at all. 
all on me, which is awesome. So I do really like this concealer, probably for more natural days. On days that I want more full coverage, I will obviously use my Tarte Shape Tape because that's like the most full coverage concealer ever. For more natural concealer, I do really like this. And I'm honestly shocked that it's not creasing on me. Usually concealer creases super bad on me, but it's not. So love that. Really, really like this so far. I set my whole face with it and I think my face looks nice and soft and it looks very lightweight. It looks super smooth underneath my eyes. So, so far I'm loving this. The baking powder, I think this is what made me look kind of dry underneath my eyes. So I'm not a huge fan right now. I'm honestly not even that big of a fan of baking in general. So that might just be why I don't love it. But I do think that it helped with brightening up my under eyes and I really like the way that they look. And they don't look as dry as they did when I first wiped it off. Cause when I first wiped it off, I was like, no, thank you. But now I think they look fine. So I'm kind of, I don't love this. Definitely don't hate it, but um, I'm gonna keep trying this one out. For the Backtalk palette, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it. I thought I was gonna like it a lot more. I was having a little bit of a problem blending out the shade Backtalk, but once I did blend it out, I think it looks really pretty. Love the shade WTF in here too. The shade worked really good for blending out any harsh lines that I had. I didn't try any of these shimmer shades but honestly they just don't really call my name they're not super blinding like I like my shimmer shades to be and the blush that I used wasn't super pigmented so I was a little bit let down on that even though it is a really pretty color I had to dig into it a lot to even get anything out of it of course I haven't tried the other blushes in here but just for that one yeah again I'm just kind of iffy on this I definitely don't hate it or not even don't like it but I don't love it. Now, this one, on the other hand, love. Oh my gosh, amazing. My jaw dropped with literally every shade that I swatched. Even though I did get a lot of follow with all the shades, I still think they look gorgeous and for being affordable, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. And plus I love colors. I absolutely love playing around with colors and all these neon bright, just electric shades in here just really scream my name. So I, of course, love this palette. For the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Again, not really blown away by this. The highlighter shades are pretty, but this one was just a little bit too, oh, oops. This one was just a little bit too yellow on my skin tone. I'm not deep enough for that shade, I think. This blush is a little bit too dark on me and this blush is a little bit too pink on me and they are very pigmented. So I don't know. I didn't try the blush, the bronzers in here though. And I actually love Too Faced bronzers. So I'm sure I will love those bronzers. But otherwise, again, I'm not super blown away by it. For this bronzer, I really am liking this. I love the shade. It's just a very nice natural kind of glow to the skin. So I'm really enjoying this so far, even though it does have a little bit of that sheen in there. I think it's really nice for summer. You can definitely see it a little bit more on my forehead up here. It doesn't look super matte, but I really like it and love the shade. Also love the smell. This highlighter, again, not blown away by it, but I don't not like it. I will keep using this again and I'll probably like it a lot more if I put a cream highlight underneath it to make it more blinding because you guys saw when I first put it on, it wasn't really that intense and a lot of people actually love that, but I am the opposite. I love my highlight to be super blinding and intense, but I think the shade of it is super pretty. So I do like this, but I'm probably just gonna use it over a cream highlighter from now on. Mascara I like, I think it made my lashes look really nice and long and thick, but the only thing that I didn't love is how much mascara comes out on the wand. You guys can see like there's a ton of mascara that comes out on here. I actually only used one dip and then it covered both of my eyes. So I guess that is nice, but I also sometimes just like to build up my mascara instead of going with like a ton at first, but I do like that. For the eyeliner, I do love how precise the tip was, but again, I'm just just not used to felt tip liners, so it took me a while to do the wings. Once I had them on though, I think they look good. The only thing that I don't love is how it's not completely matte black. I like my eyeliners to be super matte, so this one does have a little bit of a shine to it, so I'm not obsessed with it. The eyeliner that I used on my waterline was nice and black and definitely matte, so I do like this one as well. For the lipstick, I love the shade. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's super pretty, but I do wish that it was just a little bit more opaque. I had to put like two or three layers on just to get it to this shade and you can still see through it a little tiny bit. I just like liquid lipsticks that are a little bit more on the moussier side and kind of thick so they are really opaque but this shade is 
gorgeous. I love this shade. And I think I covered everything. I feel like I'm missing something, but... So this video was super fun to film, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope this helped you out a little bit if you were looking at some of these products to purchase for yourself. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's probably a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.